Unit three, listening, pre-listening before you listen. Discuss. Why do laws exist? Laws, the system of rules, exist. Why do we have laws, and why do we use them? Well, laws exist to protect people from being harmed, from being hurt by others, and to discourage when you discourage someone. You try to convince him not to do something. It is the opposite of encourage people from harming others. Can you think of any laws that are too extreme, strange, or ridiculous? Ridiculous means silly, stupid, to be enforced, to be implemented, and used on people. Well, I read somewhere that in Britain. It is against the law to die in the houses of parliament. Houses of parliament are buildings in which elected people come together to make the laws. So it is illegal to die, like if you choose to die that day or not. I think that is a very funny law. If somebody had a heart attack and died in the houses of parliament. How would the authorities, the police, the government, be able to enforce the law instead of sending him to the graveyard and bury him underground? You would send his body to jail, or what? The man is dead. How would you punish him? That is funny. Now, listening for specific information, you will hear part of a radio interview with Alan Stapleton. A legal expert, someone who knows the law very well, who will talk about strange or stupid laws throughout the world. For questions one to five, choose the best answer A, B, or C. Before we read the questions, read the tip. Read through the questions and the options beforehand. Beforehand, before you listen to the recording. The questions follow the order of the recording, which means you will listen to the first question first and then the second. So make sure you concentrate, you pay attention to, you focus on the right question each time. Listen for keywords which will help you choose the correct option. Finalize, finish. Your answers only after the second listening. We will listen to the recording only once to save time. Now read the questions. In Canada, one reason why it is illegal, illegal against the law, to do repairs to try and fix up your car, on your car in the street is because garage mechanics, garage mechanics. People who work in workshops to do repairs on cars might complain, might get unhappy, or is it because your car might get stolen, or you might get hurt? Two. Why does the law about bicycles in Connecticut sound stupid? Connecticut is a state in the United States of America, just like New York. It can't prevent accidents, prevent stop from happening. It's unlikely. Unlikely, there is a very small chance that this would happen. That bicycles can go faster than 100 km per hour. Cyclists are people who ride bicycles. Have never caused an accident there. Three in the UK. United Kingdom in Britain. Why must lorries? Lorries are trucks. Lorries is a British word. In America, they don't say lorries. Transporting animals, moving animals, be driven on motorways. This is another British word. Americans say expressway or highway. Between 10 a.m. and 7 p.m. Is it because many serious accidents and pileups? Pileups are accidents involving too many cars happen outside these hours, or is it because 
Lorries cannot go fast during these hours. Or there is not so much traffic during these hours. 4. Why are strange animal laws enforced? Used. To make sure no one makes money from animals. Or to protect the rights of animals. Rights. There is a plural S. This is a noun. Not an adjective. Not like uh, right and wrong. No. This means the things that the law guarantee to people or animals. To protect us from dangerous animals. 5. The law about chewing gum. Gum is a kind of food that you don't swallow, you don't eat, you just keep on chewing. In Singapore, aims at protecting people's health, discouraging people from chewing too much gum. Again, discourage is the opposite of encourage. It means you try to make someone not to do something. Preventing littering. Stop people from spitting gum on the streets. Now, please listen carefully. My guest today is Alan Stapleton, a legal expert who will tell us about strange laws that exist in many parts of the world. Welcome to the show, Alan. Thank you. Let's begin with some strange laws that exist all over the world which concern cars, drivers, bicycles, and roads in general. What can you tell us about them? The list is endless. In Australia, for example, it is illegal to leave your car keys in an unattended vehicle. Why is that? Probably the police are concerned about the increasing number of car thefts, or even joyriders stealing cars and then driving around for fun, causing accidents. Moreover, in Canada, it is considered illegal to repair your car in the street. Perhaps the authorities are concerned about noise pollution or the fact that expensive neighbourhoods might start to resemble mechanical workshops or garages. They may also be concerned about safety issues in case someone gets injured. Talking about safety, in Mexico, bicycle riders may not leave either foot off the pedals as they may lose control and cause an accident. And in Connecticut, USA you may be stopped for cycling faster than 100 kilometers per hour. That sounds incredible. Is it possible that a person can cycle faster than 100 kilometers per hour for the law to apply? Well, I really doubt it. Anyway, coming to Europe now. In Germany, it is illegal for your car to run out of petrol on the famous Autobahn or super-fast motorways. I can understand their logic because any stationary cars could cause serious accidents and pile-ups. Similarly, I accept the fact that in the UK, lorries transporting cows or sheep may only be driven along the motorways between 10am and 7pm with police permission, as at this time of the day there is less traffic and it is considered to be safer to transport animals then. In Hawaii, California, Nevada and Florida, you may be booked for driving too slowly, as, once again, these drivers may slow down the flow of traffic and cause accidents. I read somewhere that it is illegal for a driver to be blindfolded while driving or operating a vehicle in the US. But who would drive a car while blindfolded? <laughs> Nobody. Still, remaining in the US, I am puzzled as to why a driver may not drive barefooted, though. Hmm. Sounds strange. What about animal laws? There must be some strange ones, I guess. Certainly, especially in the US. In Louisiana, you may not tie an alligator to a fire hydrant. And if you live in North Carolina, you can't use elephants to plow cotton fields. In Oklahoma, it is illegal to transport a bowl of fish on a public bus or to transport the hind legs of farm animals in the boot of one's car. Even making funny faces at animals is considered worthy of a fine. It seems that the animal rights lobbyists have fought hard for the protection of animal rights there. Yes, but maybe that's a bit extreme. Anyway, what about some strange laws concerning food? I think there were some really funny ones in the past, right? In the UK, during the reign of Edward VI, 
Anyone who was caught breaking a hard-boiled egg at the short end was sent to the stocks. <laughs> that sounds extreme, and thankfully that law doesn't exist anymore. However, in the US even today, you may not have an ice cream cone in your back pocket during business hours. I think this is obviously due to health and safety reasons. In Singapore, you may be fined $600 for dropping or deliberately throwing chewing gum onto pavements. That is quite a severe penalty. However, I bet their streets are much cleaner than ours. I agree. Just imagine how clean our streets and pavements would be if this strange law were to be enforced everywhere. Well, that's all very interesting. But before we continue, I would just like to ask you... Now, if you feel that listening to the recording one time wasn't enough, then by all means, feel free to listen to the recording again and again. Only continue this video if you have finished answering these questions. My guest. Guest is someone who is invited to a place. Today is Alan Stapleton. A legal expert who will tell us about strange laws that exist in many parts of the world. Welcome to the show, Alan. Thank you. Let's begin with some strange laws that exist all over the world which concern cars, related, connected to cars, drivers, bicycles, and roads in general. What can you tell us about them? The list is endless. It has no end. In Australia, for example, it is illegal to leave your car keys in an unattended vehicle. Unattended means nobody is driving it or watching it. Vehicle or cars, trains, buses. Why is that? Probably the police are concerned, worried. Now, the same word concern may mean worry or connected related about the increasing number of car thefts or even joyriders what's the meaning of joyriders it means stealing cars and then driving around for fun causing accidents moreover what is more in canada it is considered it is opinionated illegal to repair your car in the street Perhaps the authorities are concerned about noise pollution. Noise pollution when you hear sounds that are very loud that can be unhealthy for you. Or the fact that expensive neighborhoods, areas of cities or towns might start to resemble, resemble, look like mechanical workshops. You know, expensive neighborhood with too many broken cars will look like a place where you take your car to get it uh, repaired or garages they may also be concerned about safety issues the well-being of people in case if someone gets injured hurt this answers the first question it's about safety nobody gets hurt talking about safety in mexico Bicycle riders may not leave either foot of the pedals. This is a pedal, as they may lose control and cause an accident. And in Connecticut, USA, you may be stopped for cycling faster than 100 kilometers per hour. Now, has this ever happened really in real life? Somebody going over 100 kilometers on a bicycle? That sounds incredible, hard to believe. Is it possible that a person can cycle faster than 100 kilometers per hour? That's impossible for the law to apply, to be enforced. Now, maybe in the US, they are ready for the year 3000 when they invent bicycles that can go over 100 kilometers per hour. This answers number two. It's unlikely there is a small chance that somebody would do this, go faster than 100 kilometers per hour. Well, I really doubt it. I don't think so. Anyway, coming to Europe now. In Germany, it is illegal for your car to run out of petrol. 
to have no more gas on the famous autobahn autobahn is a german word which means the fast motorways i can understand their logic the way they think because any stationary cars stationary not moving could cause serious accidents and pileups similarly the same way i accept the fact that in the uk lorries transporting moving cows or sheep may only be driven along the motorways between 10 a.m and 7 p.m with police permission with police allowance as at this time of the day there is less traffic fewer cars moving on the streets and it is considered to be safer to transport animals then this answers this not much traffic in hawaii california nevada and florida you may be booked for driving too slowly the police might stop you you may have to pay a fine for driving slowly as once again these drivers may slow down the flow the way cars moving smoothly on the streets of traffic and cause accidents i read somewhere that it is illegal for a driver to be blindfolded covering his eyes while driving or operating a vehicle operating working a car or a train in the u.s but who would drive a car while blindfolded do we even need this law nobody still remaining remaining means still the same thing in the u.s i am puzzled confused unable to understand as to why a driver may not drive barefooted though barefooted not wearing shoes or sandals hmm sounds strange what about animal laws there must be some strange ones i guess well certainly of course especially in the u.s in louisiana you may not tie an alligator to a fire hydrant tie use a rope to make an animal remain in its place alligator is a species that is close to crocodiles not the same close fire hydrant which is this thing and if you live in north carolina you can't use elephants to plow cotton fields plow means turn over the earth to make it ready for planting in oklahoma it is illegal to transport a ball of fish it is not allowed to move this on a public bus bus that is used by people in general or to transport the hind legs hind legs the rear limbs of farm animals in the boot of one's car the boot the trunk you can take the rear limbs of a cow or a sheep and you put it here in oklahoma not everywhere just in oklahoma even making funny faces if you do this to an animal it is considered worthy of a fine you should pay an amount of money just for doing this to an animal it seems that the animal rights lobbyists lobbyist is someone who works for a government and help make laws have fought hard fought is the past of fight which means that they worked hard for the protection of animal rights there so it is actually to protect the rights of animals yes but maybe that's a bit extreme if you do a funny face you should pay a fine anyway what about some strange laws concerning food i think there were some really funny ones in the past right well in the uk during the reign this is pronounced reign of edward the sixth reign the time of edward being king anyone who was caught breaking a hard-boiled egg caught is the past of catch if somebody sees you doing this breaking a hard-boiled egg at the short end you know an egg has two ends short which is 
from this side and long from this side. If you break a, a hard boiled egg from this side, it is against the law. Do you know what they will do to you? They will send you to the stocks to work with animals. That sounds extreme just for breaking an egg and thankfully that law doesn't exist anymore today. However, in the US even today you may not have an ice cream cone you may not have an ice cream cone in your back pocket during business hours. I think this is obviously clearly due because of health and safety reasons. In Singapore you may be fined, you may pay $600 for dropping or deliberately. Deliberately means it wasn't just an accident. No, you did it intentionally. Throwing chewing gum onto pavements. If you throw a gum on here, you pay $600. That is quite a severe penalty. Very tough punishment. However, I bet when you bet you put your money on something, which means I believe that their streets are much cleaner than ours. This law is enforced to prevent littering so that nobody would throw gum. I agree. Just imagine how clean our streets and pavements would be if this strange law were to be enforced everywhere. Imagine enforcing this law in Saudi Arabia. It's tough, but our streets would be much cleaner. Well, that's all very interesting, but before we continue, I would just like to ask you, thank you for watching this video. If you like it, please share it with friends. I'll see you again next time, inshallah. Goodbye.